uh, came out uh, uh, about two weeks ago, and the Economist ranks the Philippines number six out of 66. So we are in the top 10% in the world in economic resiliency. So we are also the best in Southeast Asia in terms of financial strength. The assessment shows that the country continues to enjoy the confidence of the international community, which go a long way in boost, boosting our recovery efforts. The President's conservative economic policies and pursuit of economic reform, such as tax reform, have kept the country's financial position strong because we have strengthened our revenue flows from train, followed by the sin tax adjustments, we have been able to slowly bring down our debt to 39.6% of GDP. This used to be 70%, so we are less than 40% already. This approach of saving for rainy day has given us ample fiscal space to borrow money for programs to defeat the COVID-19 and revive the economy. We achieved the credit rating of BBB+, Plus, the highest in our country's history, which signals that the world thinks that we are a very worthy borrower. The credibility allows us to borrow more cheaply and from a broader range of sources. Rice tarification has also continued to keep inflation low and stable. Inflation in April further eased to 2.2%, well within the low end of our target of 2 to 4%. Uh, we have to do many things in order to revive the economy, and I would like to propose the following priorities. Number one, uh, after we are confident that, uh, that, we can, that we are in control of the death rate and infection, we should restart and accelerate the Build, Build, Build program subject to compliance of minimum health standards. The infrastructure remains to be the best driver of economic growth because it has the best multiplier effects in, term of, in terms of employment and shared prosperity. We should also hire contract, contact tracers in mass to boost our efforts to stop transmission and defeat COVID-19 while providing jobs. You know, we lost about 1.2, 1.5 million jobs. They're temporarily lost, but, you know, if we hire these guys to do contact tracing, which we are having a very hard time, right, doing the contact tracing, I think we can uh, provide good jobs to people uh, because sometimes it takes one contact tracer one whole day to do contact tracing for one case. So uh, we need to hire enough contact tracers to match the numbers we expect that uh, will come uh, with more testing. To attract investors who want to relocate to, from other countries and in search of resilient, high growth potential economies like the Philippines, this will involve the urgent passage of CITIRA or Package 2 of the Comprehensive Tax Reform Program which we now propose to include flexible tax and non-tax incentives so we can target specific companies that we want to invest here. The bill has been with the Senate for a few months. We would like to ask for your support so that Congress can pass this before June 3. Number four, we have to stimulate the consumer demand. We must promote manufacturing of products that have strong and inelastic demand, such as those as food production. Inelastic demand means that you will buy it regardless of what your income is or what the price of the good is. And that is food, number one. You have to eat food. So we must push food production and food logistics. We must be able to get the food here uh, cheap, we must be able to store the food so that uh, the fresh food so it will last. We would also like to support the whole value chain for the food products, including food markets for efficient distribution, similar to fruit and vegetable markets established many years ago in Japan. 
the Duterte administration's economic team and our legislators are finalizing an economic recovery program that will help us combat the pandemic and provide industries, especially micro, small, and medium enterprises, the assistance they need to get back on their feet and our fellow Filipino workers, fellow Filipinos back to work. So, Mr. President, our real problem is that the people are not buying things. So we must, because their incomes have gone down, so we must provide them uh, the means of buying things. Because if they don't buy things, it's useless to help the companies. So it, we have to stimulate demand. And that's through build, 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 and push food production. Thank you, Sunny. Now, uh, I'd like to hear uh, from the DOH. Uh, you have something to say here? Uh, sir? Yes, sir. But I understand that the uh, presentation uh, of uh, Secretary Galvez, uh, the chief implementer, on the proposed general concept on uh, for ECQ transition, uh, okay. and then my presentation uh, comes next. John Galvez, then. Sir, Mr. President, allow me to present uh, our proposed general concept for the enhanced community quarantine transition. Next slide, please. The purpose of this presentation is to seek approval on the general operational concept for ECQ transition. In the absence of a vaccine, all what we can do is prevent and contain it and mitigate its impact. The government, however, cannot endure uh, the ECQ for extended period of time as its resources are very limited. Hence, it, is, it has to balance between health and economy. As a backgrounder, some precautionary measures have been given by the World Health Organization with the recommendation on easing of quarantine restriction. According to WHO, any plans to ease quarantine restriction should be carried out gradually and in a paced manner, parang yung Mr. President na hina hina lang po, to prevent resurgence of infection and that a strong and resilient health uh, system should be in place like testing and tracing. Otherwise, this will likely lead, prelude to resurgence of the disease. Also considered in the proposal is the World Health Organization Interim Protocol on Rapid Operations to contain the initial emergence of pandemic influenza, specifically the zoning concept that can be effectively applied at the LGU barangay level. As shown also is our updated National Action Plan Operational Framework to prevent and contain the COVID-19 virus. Our plan is COVID carrier centric, meaning to contain the virus, we have to focus our intervention on the carriers. Our revised operational framework added the prevention prior to the detection phase and the adoption of the end to end T3 management system for COVID 19 carriers, which means test, trace, and treat. With the prevailing situation, the following were the key consideration. Next slide, please. In coming up with the general operational concept for ECQ transition. Number one, how the concept can work within the bounds of the current IATF guidelines. Number two, how can we implement the DOH strategy that is nationally, national government enabled, local government led, and people centered COVID 19 response? Number three, how can we protect the economic corridors and zones? Number four, how can we protect and sustain the gains of the current ECQ that we imposed since uh, March uh, 16? Also, aside from the doubling time as consideration in determining what areas to be placed on ECQ, we also include the granular data of incidence rate and attack rate by barangay, municipality, and city. We have also considered how can the government better address the influx of the returning overseas Filipinos and the transport of locally stranded individuals. For the information of the President, sir, uh, 
we have more or less more than 20,000 OFWs stranded in Metro Manila. And uh, they are also continuously coming for this month, more or less 42,000. And lastly, how can the government apply the economy of force on areas that have no re record of COVID cases and relocate forces and resources with massive concentration on the critical areas that direly needs government action? Uh, sir, uh, one question. <clears throat> Itong opening limited movement uh, uh, which we allow the public to uh, maybe uh, enjoy the, the, the freedom of movement. Uh, uh, kailangan ho natin itong maintindihan ng lahat. Uh, have we communicated to the common man itself na uh, ito yung mga tao, ito yung pwede, ito yung hindi? Or would you rather that uh, the presidential uh, spokesman would do it or Siya nang isa-isahin na lang naman yung siguro ito. And para to make sure that uh, everybody is uh, uh, heard or at least uh, he knows uh, where he belongs to dito sa category of not uh, being allowed and allowed uh, have this published or uh, sa BTV4. So ilagay lahat doon kung sino. Then... Uh, of course, with your, uh, your uh, uh, verbal uh, narration. Uh, oh, okay na. Sir, Mr. President, kompleto po ang DOH ng lahat po ng uh, communications uh, materials, lahat po ng uh, uh, mga advisories, and uh, the chairman uh, of the National Task Force uh, Task Group on Strategic Communications is none other than uh, your uh, spokesperson, si Secretary Harry Roque. So, uh, we will make sure that all of these materials are, uh, are uh, submitted to him for cascading to the uh, general public. Uh, yes, Mr. it's President. very important that the common tao, the man, the man himself who is concerned with the, about his livelihood, must understand that he is at present not allowed. At yung iba, allowed. So it must be, uh, it must appear to him very clear that uh, ito sila, uh, he belongs to this category and why he is allowed to work. At ito namang mga ano, why they cannot be allowed to mix again with the, the outside world. Uh, mga kababayan, magandang gabi sa inyo lahat. Napag-usapan ho dito lahat kung ano ang gawin. Now, these things are not really very clear to you because it was brought up in a matter of discussion. Out of a discussion, things were decided. So, although nakasulat na, it was put on the table to be decided upon. But most of the recommendations by the uh, top guns of... Uh, Itong inatasan natin, General Galvez, uh, General Anio, si DOH, uh, si Defense Secretary Lorenzana, uh, Sani, at makita naman ninyo, kung makinig kayong mabuti dahan-dahan, then you'd understand. But anyway, yung hindi ninyo naintindihan, yung mga taong Pwedeng lumabas at pwedeng hindi lumabas. Hanggang dyan lang muna kayo. Uh, uh, we're enumerated in our papers which uh, we cannot uh, uh, distribute to all of you. So that it uh, behooves upon the Secretary of Justice, uh, Secretary of uh, the Spokesman, uh, Secretary Rocky, to make it clear for you uh, ang blackboard niya is uh, PTB4. He will be using that government facility to convey the message of what has been decided tonight. Now, uh, I hope that you are all safe uh, at uh, 
wala namang uh, pinsala sa buhay ninyo. I pray and I greet all the mothers uh, belatedly, though uh, Happy Mother's Day at uh, yung mga mga nanay na nawalaan ng mga anak fighting COVID doing the the highest, the, the noble uh, uh, endeavor that one can do in this world is to serve your fellow men. Uh, you have uh, our kind thoughts and prayers at saka masabi ko sa inyo na uh, you know you, 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 you live and die in this world that's for sure but uh, to have been to have been given the chance to serve your fellow men before going to the universal uh, sky is something which you should be proud of. Lahat naman eh, namamatay. Pero kung ginawa nila, it's something, bayon ang bao nila sa kanilang universal identity that they did something for their fellow men. Uh, in a way, also, I remember my mother, Solidad, uh, well, she was a very good mother to me, look what happened. Naging presidente, tuloy ako. <laughs> Nawala yung disiplina niya sa akin. My God, uh, kung paluhurin ako noon sa altar. Oh, well, uh, I, 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 I want to, he must be smiling or he must be in state of wonderment now, looking at the face of my father. Anong nagawa natin sa anak natin itong gagong itong Rodrigo? Bakit? Well, anyway, God has maybe uh, chosen me to work for the national government to to help my fellow men. And that is why we are here. Ito lahat amin, trabaho ito para sa kapwa tao namin. I assure you, there is no corruption allowed. Kung meron man makalusot, kung makalusot kapag nahuli ka, sorry ka na lang. Ganon talaga dito. And uh, I have filed several undersecretaries, assistant secretaries, because uh, we value the privilege of working for our country and serving the people. It's not, not it's not, it's a it's an extreme rare privilege to be in government. Not all are given the chance to be uh, here deciding what is good for your neighbor. Yung lockdown, uh, they will explain that to you thoroughly by uh, Secretary Roque. At mayroon tayong mga tawag niyang new normal. Ganito ha, for those who would be allowed to go out and work, and for those na hindi pa talaga pwede, remember na itong pag the easing up of the restrictions, hindi iyan sabihin na wala na ang COVID. Just because we allowed certain people Dandahan lang, dandahan lang sa ano. Para walang, ano, hindi tayo madapa, dandahan lang. Because we cannot afford, we cannot afford a second or third wave na mangyari. Ito yung mabagong mahawa na naman at rarami na naman dahil nga sa mayroon tayong rules na uh, hindi sinunod. So, kindly, one is that mm, do not go out of your house without a mask. That is a must. Must comply. Tatapikin ka ng polis. Hindi ka manulihin. 
Pero makakaya sabihin sa iyo. At uh, tumabi ka muna. Wala kang mask. Where's your mask? Kung wala kang mask, you're in danger na ipapasubo mo yung kaharap mo. Hindi ikaw. Kung gusto mo mamatay, okay lang. Pero yung kaharap mo, hindi pa niya panahon. Tapos mamatay lang sa ka... Just, just because you do not want to comply. Kaya ako nag-comply. Ngayon lang. Kasi... Then, uh, the social distancing. Ito yung new life. Until such time na meron ng vaccine. Meron mga medisina but not vaccine. So, ganun yun. Sundin lang ninyo yan, importante masyado. Whether you are really allowed to go out or not, If you are out, wear a mask. It is a must also. Kailangan. Ha? Ngayon, kung wala ka naman talagang gawin, COVID is very lethal. Huwag ka talagang magsugal dyan sa COVID kasi pag tinamaan ka, it can go either way. Punta ka sa punerarya o matulog ka sa bahay ninyo. Matulog ka sa punerarya, hindi ka nagigising. Kunin ka na doon para sunugin. At saka walang punerarya ngayon, pag namatay ka, COVID, because uh, eh, the whole of your body is already crawling with the germs, diretso ka sa na hindi ka malang mayakap ng yung mga anak mo, asawa mo, hindi mo mayakap. Kasi hindi ka na mayakapin kasi kung mapodo, adi yun naman magka-COVID. So yan ang masakit dyan. Uh, kayo, but uh, take it uh, from your uh, uh, sa binigyan ninyo ng trabaho dito sa national government. Kung baga ako yung huwag na lang yung parang mayor na lang kasi parang ano lang tayo city council. Uh, you, just, you, you just address me as mayor. Mas komportable ako. Yung mayor na mismo nagsasabi na sa inyo na gawin ninyo to kasi makatulong ito para sa atin. Huwag mong gawin yan kasi haharotin mo ang mga kapwa mo tao na hindi pa nila panahon. Uh, may mga lugar na will remain sa lockdown. May contagion, maraming rate of infection. May magpasok ng ganun. Tapos tignan nila ng mga doktor, mga mga health authority, tingnan lang, ang rate of hawa. Gaano kabilis ang hawa? O, yan. Pag malaki yan, sarado yan. At uh, gagamutin kayo. Or you go to the hospital. Bantayan ninyo kasi yung hospital, kasi yung kama na dalhanin ninyo, lima na ang patay doon. Ikaw yung pang-anim kung hindi ka talaga magsunod ng batas. Ay, totoo lang. The, the injunctions given by government, yung anong masalita na wag ito gawin mo, ito wag mong gawin. It is intended for your protection. But if you get COVID, putsa, dalhin ka sa hospital. Yung hospital, yung kama ibigay sa iyo, kalilinis lang kasi one hour before may namatay doon. Ikaw na naman ang papalit. So, an, pang-anim ka. Ay, kung gusto mo yan, hindi, ganun. Hindi ko kayo tinatakot. Sabihin, yan ang mangyari sa inyo pag hindi kayo sumunod. Mga precautionary measures. Yan. Simple mo lang ang hinihingi ng gobyerno. Kung wala ka mang negosyo, lalo na yung mga anak ninyo, walang klase, 
Wala, hindi pa ako nag-announce ng ano. I, I do not believe in that may sa June. We have to decide by the yung task force. It, can, it cannot be... Wala pang klase. Kayong mga estudyante, makinig kayo. Kung sabihin ko sa inyo na hanggang Desembre walang klase, anong gawin ninyo ngayon? Sige. Talon, pati palakpak. <laughs> hanggang Desembre, walang klase. Eh, po tatapos sabihin naman ng mga tao, gago itong Duterte na ito, hindi niya kaya yung COVID. Umalis ka na dyan. Again, uh, Secretary Doki will also go on air. Together with uh, uh, Secretary Roque. Doki. Doki Roque. Huh? Yeah, baka magkamali ka. Doki is the... Roki is the... Yes, pa. Okay, pero okay, okay. Okay. Do, do. Kasi kung uh, alam mo bakit ganun sila? Kasi lahat ng mga tanong mga ke, ke, mga bright yan. Yan talaga ang... Ah... Uh, yung mga sa sunod na may you know, I, I, I had a nightmare not only an experience in the distribution of the sap sabi ko na nga noon nakinig naman kay sa akin takot ako na baka makurakot ito takot ako na makatingan ito kasi ayoko na naman ano basta ganon sabi ko, baka, baka, o, nangyari nga, kita mo, di ba sinabi ko sa inyo, ngayon, uh, para talaga, walang, ano, I will ask uh, General Bautista to use sole ang kanilang, ano, Full charge sa D is WD. Alam ko walang tao. Ang order ko sa kanya, kanina yung nag-meeting kami, na he will request na kapwa niya sundalo noon. Eh, retired na. That's why he's with the cabinet. Na magpatulong siya sa armed forces pag-distribute ng pera. I have nothing against male sa mga lalaki. Wala akong ano, ang sinasabi ko lang mas matyaga itong mga babae lalo na kung isipin nila na ito kailangan ng mga pamilya, mga bata para pagkain. The, the empathy yung ano ng puso ng babae ang gusto ko. Kaya, sa mga babae na membro, maybe will be commissioned to do that. But I have also uh, issued a caveat, a warning, na ayaw ko na ngayon na mamamatay pa na sundalo, babae o lalaki, na inambos ng mga NPA at kinuha yung pera o yung mga supply na pagkain, bigas, sardinas, kung ano pa, at yung baril, kasi yung baril mainit talaga yan sa either yung nakatago sa baywang mo o ang NP, yung, wala yung armas yung mga yan. Nagkaroon lang ng armas yan, kapatay ng mga sundalo, kaya ganoon yung karami ang nakuha nila. Anyway, sabi ko, uh, beginning, maybe, this, this, uh, uh, coming days, uh, you will see a more uh, uh, fighting, uh, fighting spirit uh, coming from the, ako ang sabi ko talaga, magsabi ako ng totoo, ha? ang gusto ko, 
Kasi pinapatay ang sundalo ko, pati polis. Ang gusto ko, ang order ko, patayin ninyo. Patayin ninyo. Kasi kung hindi kayo patayin, papatayin talaga kayo. Na magdala kayo ng armas, patay ka, sigurado. Kaya nakatalikod ka, nakaharap ka, nakaluhod ka. So, anong order mo? Anong order ko? Pinapatayin lang sundalo ko, ilang beses na. May pinakawalaan ba sila? Patay. O di patayin mo. Basta yung... Ako, pag nakapatay kayo ng commander, ang nakapagturo kayo sa natutulog yung commander, o nakitulog, makitulog yan sila, o nakitulog. Ah, sabihin lang ninyo sa akin, at ah, uh, ano, 2 million ang ako, basta yung top commander. 1 million yung O, oh, mga ganun. I think, 2 to, 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 to million. Yeah. Was it, was it, was it 2 million? Yes, sir. Oh. Kung sino yung makaturo, tapos doon sa uh, army o police. Oh, so, pag ikaw ang nagturo, natuhuli yung commander na mabigat, may hati ka dyan sa pera. Pero, alisin kita sa lugar mo. Kung taga-abra ka, ihatid kita sa Mindanao, doon sa mga Ilocano. Ano, bigyan kita lupa, doon ka lang mag, ano. Ay, kasi kung hindi, papatayin ka talaga. Eh. Kung ilunggo ka, uh, di, tega pa uli ka sa uh, Iloilo o Bacolod. So, huwag man na uh, masakyan mo, Way pa, way pa. Uh, ulat lang. Pagka ganun, yung mga squealer, you will be given a new identity, kagaya ng witness protection program. It need not be under the witness protection program, but I order that you be treated as a witness, taken as a witness protection program. Sali kayo, may bagong identity ka. Yun. At may ka, kung ano, sabihin mo doon sa mga pulis pati, o oh, kasali man ako dito, sabi ni Mayor, ang akin dyan is 500, baong ko daw kasi i-relocate ko yung pamilya ko. I will give you lunch. Marami pang, itong, itong mga putris na NPA na ito. Marami pang lupa. Hindi tayo magpatayan ng land reform. Sige ako, land reform. Bigayan ako ng lupa. Maraming lupa pa. Hindi na kailangan pa magpatayan pa tayo dyan sa land reform na yan. O basta matinong usapan. So, sekreto lang si kaninong kanino mo ipasa. Sa governor o sa mayor, pero huwag mong sabihin. Sa military mo lang sabihin. Kaya baka yung gobernur na yan, NPA rin. Yan ang mahirap. O yung mayor na yan, ang simpatiya sa NPA. Marami yan eh. Kaya huwag na lang tayo magbulahan. The reason why they thrive until now is because there are some local officials that are actively supporting the Communist Party of the Philippines. Yan ang totoo niyan. Kasabihin mo lang na ano, pag na, pag na panalaman ko, di mga DILJ yan, director, no? DILJ yan, nasa kay General Anyo, o sa DSWD, kay General Bautista, o kay Sekretary Roque, Baski sino ang basta sa gabinet? O sino ang taga-gubiro? Sabihin mo lang. Eh kung malaki mo, sabihin mo, eh, malaki ito, sir. O di, dalhin niyo sa akin. Kibong! Ito mag-prank ka ako, ha? Nung mayor ako. Kasi alam ito ng mga sundalo. Kaya yung mga sundalo noon, nagdududa sa akin. 
nung mayor ako. Ano ba ang laro ni Duterte? Kasi minsan may mga nahuli na taga COMID, Mindanao Commission. Yun yun ang number one uh, parang pinaka-head doon sa nagdadala ng gira doon. Nahuli yung isang matanda na ano, pero old-timer. Tapi sabi nila, Mayor, uh, kung maari lang, eh ako, may uh, ano ako, trabaho ko, pag may nahuli sundalo, kinukuha ko rin sa bukid. Pumupunta tala. Pumupunta tala ako sa bukid. Eh, General Anyo, hindi kami kilala yan. Si Delpin, noon. Pumunta lang ako po yung nag-iipag-usap ako ng NPA. So yung lahat na sundalo na, na na bihag o mga government officials, ako ang nakukumukuha. Tapos balance ko kung ano ang importansya nito, sabi ko, sabi ng matanda na. Sabi ko kay Bongbong, kusapin mo, sabi ko, arburin ko na lang yan. Isip-isip ko, matanda na eh. Kaya so, ilang taon na ito, 67 yung wala na. Inotel na ito sa kanila. Pinarelease mo. Pinarelease ko. Kaya ganun kami ang usapan namin yung mga NPA. Noon kasi mayor lang ako. Pero ngayon na ako na yung kapatas, eh mahirap yan. Hindi na maganda tingnan. Kung gawain ko pa yan ngayon, ang magbaril sa akin si General Galvez, ng hero ng Marawi. Oo, oh, alam ko man. Eh, kaya tamatama. Oh, may mayor, mapatawad ka nila kasi alam nila maglaro ka eh. Una-una, buto yan eh. Kaya ako tinatanong ang mga kaibigan ko militar eh. Eh, buto yan sabi ko. Wala pa kay alam din sa girang. Ngayon, ano na ako, naging kapatas na ako ng ating ah, mahirap na yan. Kaya ako medyo galit na talaga kasi ayun, pumunta na ako. Tapos, so yan ang, may, mayroon pa ka pero not for uh, may magandang mga kwento ako sa buhay pero hindi ko pwedeng sabihan sa inyo. Maya na pag-retire ako. Uh, pero noon malapit na talaga ako patay ng military. Akala nila na yung magsabi na nagbigay daw ako ng arba. Sabi ko na. Hindi talaga ako wala. Pero kay Bongbong, medisina, pagkain, alam mo, may isang sigreto pa dito, sabihin ko sa inyo. Ito ginawa ako talaga. Yung si Parago, yung hero doon sa Mindanao. Talagang nung namatayo, nagbabaan 50,000 sa bukid, nakilibing. Ako, namatay sa inkwentro sa NPA. Sabi ng NPA, Mayor, Si Parago na matay, sana mindalhin. Buang ka. Punerarya. Tapos sabi niya, sino ang magbayad? Baba, sino ba ang magbayad? Sabi niya, wala mang iba mayor, ikaw man. So, <laughs> ako ang nagbayad, sino ba? Ikaw ba yun, sir? Pumunta tayo, sabi ko, pakita natin sa NPA. Ikaw yun, no? Commander ka ba? Division commander ka? Sabi ko, pakita natin sa mga tao, si Parago ang number one, pinaka-top sa buong Mindanao uh, na matay. Pakita tayo na, uy, gusto talaga natin, ang gusto ko na, gusto ko talaga ipakita na, gusto ko magipag-ariglo. Daladala ko si si ano si yung sino hmm. si ah oh, si Maki 
uh, Alberto, pati si John Anyo, sabi ko, sumama kayo sa amin. Medyo na ano pa sila, ha? Pero hindi. Rig, rigluhin lang na dito, tapot, tungiran, ito magkaubusan tayo. Uh, Pampinatahan sa Bonararia, nag-ipag-ano nag, 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 kami sa biyuda. Tapos nung nalibing, sama rin ako. Upo rin ako doon sa seremonya ng nakinig ng Tung gobyerno ito, wala ba? Hindi nakita po tao, mayor. Pagka walang hiya talaga mga gago. Pero ganun yung istorya ko. Marami yan pero wag na yung iba kay Uh, may mga, mga Amazona, hindi na masyado maganda ang kwento. Pero mga... Well, I, 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 I respect their decision in life. To die for their principle. Yan yun yan. Eh, kami dito, <laughs> eh also, like you, we are at disposal of our dignity, destiny. Handa rin kami mamatay para sa bayan. Yan lang. Kayo, hindi man kayo kailangan mamatay. Sundin mo lang ang patakaran ng gobyerno at mabuhay kayo. Sabi ko nga, kung ayaw ninyong maniwala, ang inayang kama dyan sa ospital, nahigaan mo, Sampo na ang COVID victims dyan na namatay. Pag namatay ka pa, punta ka ng punerarya, wala pang bakante na kwarto sa puneral parlor kasi maraming patay sa COVID. Yan ang tandaan ninyo. Maraming salamat po. Nagpapasalamat po ang ating presidente at ang buong sambayan ng Pilipino sa mga sumusunod dahil sa kanilang mga tulong uh, sa ating bayan sa panahon ng COVID-19. Ang gobyerno po ng Australia, ang gobyerno ng France, ang gobyerno ng Japan, ang gobyerno ng United Arab Emirates, ang European Union, ang UN Humanitarian Country Team, ang UNICEF Philippines, ang UN Human Settlements Program, Manila Economic and Cultural Office, Philippine National Red Cross, Philippine Stock Exchange, Philippine Airlines, Cebu Pacific, Air Asia, Manila Water, Permanent Mission of the People's Republic of China to ASEAN, 911 SNRT, Guangxi Zhuang Autonomous Region, Shanghai Municipal Government, Haiku Municipal Government, Guangzhou Municipal People's Government, Jiangsu Wangpo Renewable Resources Corporation, 51 Tok, TikTok Limited, Liwai White China Company Limited, Filcham Shanghai, PGI Biotechnology Company Limited, Yunzan Industrial Company Limited, IMEX Pan Pacific Group, Filipino Community in Vietnam, Libyan Iron and Steel Company, Himlayang Filipino, Trip.com Group, Jageo Philippines, Cebuana Lulier Foundation Inc., Sandoz Philippines Novartis, Baxter Healthcare, Fujian Chinese Association, Chinese Communications Construction Company, the Philippine Military Academy Alumni Association, Inc., government officials, PNP and AFP members who donated their salaries, and other private donors. Maraming maraming salamat po sa ngalan ni Presidente Rodrigo Roa Duterte at ang buong sambayan ng Pilipino.